Hello, good evening, everybody. Welcome. Um, uh, thank you for joining us today. And um, I see some uh, old faces, some old friends, some good friends, and also some new uh, people uh, joined for the first time our class. So I welcome everybody. And um, we just start because uh, uh, time is short and we want to use uh, this uh, time for the uh, the complete time for uh, for this class so all the new participants i think we can just uh, automatically add them and later maybe they can watch the replay okay so uh, let me start with the introduction um, i'm dois liu and uh, i'm the host of today's uh, class i again welcome everybody to join me today. Um, before we start with uh, the actual class and the chapter, uh, let me introduce our online school or online college. It's the so-called Lauza Daoist College, and we are based in Germany. I'm uh, the director of the Wudang Temple in Germany. Uh, Yujian Guan is the Chinese name. It's a Daoist temple where we also have like uh, longevity and martial art classes. We have art classes like traditional Chinese art and music, and um, also, of course, Taoist classes, the religious uh, part and also the philosophical part. And today is the first or introduction class for the first online course of the philosophical department. As some of you already know, we uh, are already joined, of course, also joined. Um, some of the religious classes or uh, Dao study classes. And uh, you already know me, but for those who don't know me, actually, I will just say a few words about myself. I'm uh, a Daoist Liu, or people call me Daoist Liu. Liu Cheng Yung is my Daoist name. I'm a, a Daoist priest and also a martial artist or Wudang disciple. I spent uh, over 15 years in China and also a long time in uh, temples and study at Taoism and, of course, Buddha martial arts. And um, I'm, like I already mentioned, I'm teaching online courses uh, on the website or on the uh, Taoist, um, Lao Tzu Taoist College, the online college. And um, today we start with uh, the Tao Te Ching course. And the Tao Te Ching course is uh, together with my uh, co-host uh, today. I will introduce in a moment. Um, Elizabeth um, Simonov Grenon, we translated the Dao De Jing uh, into the English language. Like a couple, um, I, I, I very quickly show, so before I forget. Um, this, yes, this wonderful book. We have uh, two versions. One is the simple version. Uh, simple is good. It's just the text, and this is the special edition with paintings. I will come to this in a moment. I would just show that the first uh, book I translated or the first uh, Dao Te Ching translation took me over a year and I translated into German language. This one also has a, like a small booklet uh, or small uh, pocket book with only the text. And there's also a, a special edition. This looks like this. It's also with the paintings. And the paintings come from a very famous master is Hu Da Shi. Uh, sorry, Zhu Dashi, Zhu Dashi, Zhu Ju Yi. And his, uh, his art is very special. So um, from time to time, I'm also sharing some of the pictures. I think um, you guys would like it uh, to see maybe a few. This, if you can see it clearly, this art is very special because he is like a, a very, very famous master for this kind of uh, art. He's, uh, it's his own style. And He's actually a very good friend of mine, and uh, he painted 81 paintings for the Dao De Jing. So he gave this to me, or allowed me to use this also for the books. And just recently, it also almost take a year. It took a year, right, Elizabeth, I think, to translate into English. And this one here, again, is like the special edition with the paintings. And um, I just use this one to explain a little bit. This year is also very special because uh, this is uh, this cover. Um, it says Dao and Du, and uh, it's also from a very famous master. His name is or was Yuan Fa Rong. He recently passed, and um, 
he actually, I'm also uh, study with him for some time and he taught me a lot about the Tao Te Ching. So it was a very big honor. The last time I visited him, he uh, painted these two characters for me. And for this cover, we also use um, his, um, his calligraphy because it's, uh, it's really good, I think. It's really beautiful. So, um, yes, so um, I, I would just like to uh, talk a little bit about the course and then also I will introduce my co-host and uh, teacher uh, of this course. Um, the course is gonna be on a weekly base and we're gonna have um, like open discussions. I think uh, Elizabeth will talk more about the um, methods or explain about everything when uh, it's her turn. <laughs> but I would just uh, say um, we're gonna have uh, also a social media group on WhatsApp where we share daily posts and um, quotes of the Tao Te Ching also like in a group and everybody is welcome to join this. If you register for this course, we're gonna uh, put you in the group. When, if you give us a uh, context, just this uh, to put ahead. It's a very uh, good gimmick. I think it's an interesting thing. Uh, we haven't had this in any other course, but I think it's uh, for the future, we're gonna use this uh, regularly. And um, yeah, so from, from my side, um, um, I would like to introduce uh, Elizabeth Simonov Grenon as uh, the co host of today's uh, introduction class and also the primary teacher of the Dao Te Ching course. That's why the time is a little bit uh, different than the usual times I'm teaching the um, religion classes or the Dao study classes because she is living in Canada and her English is, of course. <laughs> a uh, hundred times better than mine. So you probably understand her better than um, you understand me when I'm speaking English. And she is actually a master or has a master degree in education and is a psychologist. Uh, she studied um, and worked in China for over four years and also studied Taoism and martial arts with me in Wudang Shan. And later on also became, became a disciple, my disciple, and uh, entered the lineage of the Trenjan Lumen, the Dragon Gate lineage. And um, I think she will introduce a little bit more about herself. So um, without further ado, I will, um, I will let her take it from here. Yes, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, okay. So uh, welcome everybody. And I will just not say very much about myself, except that, yes, I live in Canada, which is the reason for the time. And I think that Lo uh, Shufu gave me a very good introduction. Um, I was hoping that we could reach a large North American audience. So I put the time in a place where I thought lots of people could join. Um, also convenient for me living in Vancouver. Uh, so yeah. I will just sort of talk about the method very, very briefly before we get into the first chapter. So um, the way that I like to teach the course is in a very sort of discussion style because I, as a teacher of, of English and of uh, the Taoist arts and things, I find that the best way for students to learn is to engage with the material. So of course I will share information and, and I will be like the facilitator and teacher, but I really encourage everybody to comment and ask questions and we'll try and have like a discussion style. So you can, um, you can like raise your hand or there's like a hand function or, uh, well, we'll figure that out kind of as we go. I'm sure we'll find a fluid way of doing that. Um, and I want to give lots of opportunity for people to kind of think about how things apply to their own experience and own life and try to integrate the understanding that way. Um, yeah, the best way to do it is always in relation to yourself. So without further ado, let's look at chapter one, which is what we'll do for today. So um, everybody should be able to see it. Yes, on the screen here. I got the thumbs up from Leo Shufu. Okay, he can see it. Okay, perfect. So 
here is chapter one. And as he was mentioning, we have this beautiful artwork here. Um, and this is found in throughout the nice book. So there's a different picture for every chapter. And you can see there's a, a very small Taoist sage at the top of a, a large cliff there. Uh, yeah, I just, I really love this artwork. So I encourage everybody to sign up. And if you sign up for the year course, we will send you a book. So it's quite special. Okay, so uh, I will read the first chapter and it's written in English here. If anybody's interested in knowing the Chinese, we also, that's included in the book. So chapter one, the Tao that can be spoken of is not the eternal Tao. The name that can be expressed is not the eternal name. Non-being is the beginning of heaven and earth. Being is the origin of the 10,000 things. Without desire, one beholds its essence. With desire, one sees its boundaries. These two arise together, but are named differently. Together they are called mysterious the mystery within mysteries, the gateway to all wonders. Just an initial reading. And as you let that land, does anybody have any comments, any ideas already about the meaning of parts or all of this chapter? I'd just like to say one thing. This is Leslie Graham. Hi, Leslie. I'm, I'm driving, so <laughs> um, if you hear a squeal of brakes, you know what it is. Uh, <laughs> it's my understanding that when something can be named, then you know it and understand it. But when you cannot name it and it has no limits to it, then that is what is the Tao. Yeah, that's a really great point. So this is the first two lines, right? This is really what Lao is saying. And especially in the name that can be expressed is not the eternal name. It is our human tendency to name things, right? We love language. It is our unique ability among the animal kingdom. Um, we're the only ones who have all these abstract <laughs> terms for things. So it's quite interesting that it is really a method of understanding and control of the universe that we label something. But once we label it as this or that, or very simple like table or plant or fan or whatever it is, Elizabeth, um, you know, the Bible, once we like label these things, we sort of put a limit, just like you said, Leslie, we, we limit what it can possibly be. And we also, we also at the same time discard what it is not. And so we create boundaries between things. Um, the eternal name then would be nothing you could name because you cannot put a bound on it. It is limitless. It is boundless. That is, of course, Tao. So in the first line of this chapter, the Tao that can be spoken of is not the eternal Tao. This is almost a play on words. So. Lifen might know, I'm not sure about your other people here, about your Chinese, <laughs> uh, your knowledge of Chinese, but the first line is dao, ke dao, fei chang dao. And the spoken in this line is also dao. So dao means the way. It's also a way to speak of speaking, of discourse, um, and also like a path that we can show. So Lao Tzu is quite cheeky <laughs> in, his, um, in his writing of this because this line could also be thought about as the way that can be pointed to or shown, also spoken. 
uh, is not the eternal way. So even methods that we have for being in harmony, there is no one right method, right? We all have different methods for getting into it. And so when we attach ourselves to one and take it as the only one, we have already lost the eternal Tao. We've already sort of lost the, the essence. So that being said, what is the essence? Does anybody have a thought about what is Tao? We've all come to a course about the Tao Te Ching, but what is Tao? What is that thing? It's me again, Leslie. Yeah. Uh, I, I was going to say that um, uh, the Tao is a way for everybody, regardless of how they think or how they speak, and it is limitless. And so our path is variable depending on who we are and what we bring to the table. So a way that is limitless, that it varies among people. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Yeah. Does anybody have something maybe that they'd like to add to that? Or are we all still shy? because we don't know each other yet. I could uh, add something if you like. Yeah. Okay. Um, so this is a sentence I often refer to. Um, it's also maybe good for chapter eight when we come to this point. But um, why um, Lao Tzu is often saying that the water is so close to the Tao. If we, if we say there's one thing in our universe, which is the closest to the Tao is the water. And why is that? Because the water doesn't make a difference between good and bad. It nurtures everything. It nurtures the good guy and the bad guy. Every being, everything needs water to, to live. If uh, a tree don't get water, they die. If the uh, animal doesn't drink water, they die. Um, also, um, I, I now just lost the uh, screen, the shared screen. Okay, it's coming back. So yeah, this is uh, what I wanted to add to this. So the Tao is actually um, not making a difference. That's why this first sentence is so uh, important because the second sentence is actually when we separate things, okay, the name that can be expressed is the it's not the eternal name. And uh, when we name something like uh, you just mentioned, Elizabeth, then it's this, but not that. But Tao is not working like this. Tao is everything. If you, for example, have a coin, you have the one side is the yin, the other side is the yang, but Tao is both. So you cannot say this is Tao when it's not that. So this is actually also, I think, what uh, Leslie a man, by the way, it includes everything. And um, I just, sorry, I just uh, see there is a chat uh, of uh, Jago. He wanted to add something. Water can flow everywhere. It's also, it also no, no, uh, it has no boundaries. I think that's what he wanted to say. Yeah, and water is really, um, is quite a powerful symbol of Tao. And we will see that throughout the book, we will see that Lao Tzu uses water to compare the Tao and to give us an idea of what it's like. Um, so just like Leo Shavu was saying, uh, you know, the, the, the double-sided coin. Um, and I, I think you can see behind this, I've put a, a Taiji tool, and you have one behind me here on my fan. You can see some people call it the yin yang because it has yin yang in it, but actually it's called the Taiji tool. And the Taiji, hi Oleg, Taiji, this word here, Taiji, it also you might know it as Tai Chi. 
right? And you will see people practicing in the park and you are all students of, um, or most of you are students of Liu Shufu anyway, so you know what's Tai Chi, but the word Tai Ji means supreme ultimate. This is actually a picture of Dao. This is actually the picture of the universe in its simplest representation. So it is a two-sided coin, which is one thing, right? We might not be able to see as finite beings, we might not be able to see both sides at the same time because we are limited in our senses. Um, but that is the journey of self-cultivation is to start to see through the boundaries and start to see at the essence. So we can see the third stanza here, without desire, one beholds its essence. With desire, one sees its boundaries. So desire is this really interesting word that Lao Tzu has chosen and he chose it very purposefully. And thus I'm going to ask another question. What is desire? Yeah, yeah, doll gives birth to everything and it's everywhere, indeed. What, does anybody have an idea of what desire is? I mean, I think we know in our daily lives, but. I think it is want. Okay, can you say more about that? Uh, things that once you have achieved stability, so you have your your housing, your clothing, your food, then you look for more. So want. So wanting things like fancy cars and diamond rings and tequila. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, this is one form of desire most definitely. Desire is not a peaceful heart. Okay, that's interesting, Oleg, not a peaceful heart. And I think that's also, that's getting deeper into what is desire. So, oh, we have a, a clinging and hate and the manifold attachments. Okay, so lots of different interesting opinions about what's desire. And I think all of them are correct, actually. So Lao Tzu chose this word, desire, and we see it all around us in nature. In fact, it is the principle of functioning of nature. We, the black and the white, these things, this yin yang, this tai ji tu, it always is molding together and melting together in this, in this dance of unfolding. It's always growing and building on itself Indeed, there is a cycle of growth and maturation and decay, right? Birth, flowering, and decay. So we see desire is the way that it survives, right? For humans, for instance, we procreate and we survive. We get more things because we think they will help us survive more. And as this happens, boundaries are created in our perception in the living world. So the Taoist, what we're trying to do is to slowly let go of that need to grow more, slowly let go of that need to be more and more and more and try to rest, rest in a peaceful state. So just like Oleg said, it's not a peaceful heart. So we're trying to cultivate a peaceful heart. We're indeed, uh, one of the phrases that you will see in Taoist literature is taming the heart. So that's what we're trying to do. And that way we can see through all of that noise of the boundaries and desire and growing, growing and become less. This is the way of returning and the way of Taoist cultivation is to go back to the origin. So, okay, um, we can come to the final stanza. These two arise together, but are named differently. So the two things, non-being and being, 
um, this and that, you know, a black and white, yin and yang, all of the opposites you could think of. They arise together, but are named differently. They need each other to be. And we will see this in the chapters to follow. Um, Lao Tzu talks about many of these things in different ways. Together, they are called mysterious. The mystery within mysteries, the gateway to all wonders. So if we can understand the functioning of, how, of this mutual arising, we will understand the mystery. But of course, understanding is not this understanding, right? We are reading a book and we are talk, having an intellectual discussion and we are using words and all of these things, but really understanding finds itself in your heart. And so the word, the Chinese word for heart is xin, right? Xin and xin doesn't just mean the heart that pumps in your chest. It's like a heart mind is one thing. The Chinese don't separate those things. And so we're looking for understanding, not in our Western mind, for mo most of us look like we're Western, um, but we're looking to find that in our heart. And this is, goes back to that peaceful heart, taming of the heart and to try and sit in calmness. And that way we can recognize the pattern and, and become ultimately become enlightened. Um, yeah, okay, so we just have about five minutes left. Yes. Um, Does anybody? Oh, I was going to ask if anybody has any questions before I turn it back to Leo Shurfo. <laughs> yeah, maybe somebody will ask some questions before I take over. <laughs> yes, maybe, maybe. So, um, very good explanation. Um, I'm actually astounded if this is a good word to say this, that uh, you have such a deep knowledge. I know you learned uh, lots of things from me, but um, your self studies or your study of the Tao Te Ching uh, is um, beyond um, deep. So I'm very happy that uh, you explained it very, very clear also for, for me to see it from a, a new perspective. And uh, as we spoke, Elizabeth and me, we spoke uh, today and a couple of days ago about this. And uh, we both think that the first chapter is actually the most important one. And um, everyone who is studying the Tao Te Ching should uh, get back to the first chapter and look at it over and over again, because every time we understand it a little bit better, a little bit more and, you know, build a, a better foundation for what comes after. There's more explanations about Tao and what's the and all these things. Um, we will find in uh, in different chapters further down the book, um, but the first chapter is actually the essence. What is Tao? What is the meaning of Tao? And this is what we all about. What what this is uh, this course is all about to understand the Tao Te Ching as um, one of the major books or major scriptures, most important scriptures. Is only the Chinese text only includes five thousand characters. And um, actually, the English translation doesn't have so much more because we kept it very simple. And this was also um, one of our uh, goals to keep it simple because Tao, as it is, is simple. It's not complicated. Just us humans tend to make things more complicated. Um, even we don't really understand, then we try to make things like very mystical. But the mystery within the mystery is just that simple. You know, this first chapter tells us everything about the Tao and uh, is the perfect uh, door opener for the whole book. So um, for the last few minutes, I, I cannot see the time. I think we still have three, four minutes um, left. I want to uh, mention that actually Elizabeth is my first disciple. So there is uh, four, five years ago, uh, she became my disciple. 
And uh, since then, she developed a very, very deep knowledge of the Taoism and Taoist skills, especially about the Tao Te Ching, because that's her major interest. All the time it was. And um, before we met, she also uh, studied in a temple in Canada. And she also know about scriptures and uh, religious uh, practice or liturgy. But uh, now her uh, major uh, attention or focus is more on the Tao Te Ching and the philosophical part. And also uh, she joined our team in the Lao Tzu College or the Tao, Tao Studies uh, College, um, Academy or online school to give her knowledge to the students and spread the Taoism together with us. And um, to remind you guys, today was the introduction class. And if you're interested in learning more about the Tao Te Ching, you're welcome to register for the course. The course is going to start, if I'm not wrong, next th uh, Tuesday. And some of you already signed up for the course, and I'm very happy about that. So um, you're going to find also um, on the DaoStudies.com website more information about this. And um, again, I would like to uh, mention that we give away a free book, a free um, special edition. This um, is a very, very uh, yeah, fine piece of book, I would say, fine piece of art um, to everybody who sign up for the whole year class. Um, it's also, and this is what we were thinking about, uh, we wanted to do the course for like a dollar or a euro a day. So everybody uh, who could um, spend a euro a day could also join this and learn about thousand every day. So like I mentioned before, we have this uh, WhatsApp group uh, to post daily quotes and uh, talk daily about the Tao Te Ching. So, I see on the timer, we still have uh, one and uh, 20 seconds left, one minute. And Elizabeth, she wants to say something <laughs> before we uh, run out of time. I was just I was just showing you how many minutes we had left. Yeah, OK, yeah, we have one one minute left. And um, yeah, to wrap this wonderful class up, I think it was very interesting. Also, again, for me, for everybody uh, that um, to see the deep knowledge of Elizabeth and um, her Taoist name is actually Xin He, it's uh, like harmony. Her Taoist name is uh, to uh, mean harmony. And uh, she seems to be a very uh, good choice as a teacher for this course. I'm very happy about this. And from my side, I would like to thank everybody uh, for joining me today. And if you have questions, you're also welcome to um, send us an email. Yeah, maybe uh, Elizabeth, you want to say uh, two more sentences. So thank you so much, everybody. And I hope to see you next week. Okay, I wish you a good day. Be blessed. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.